Hello everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and look at this beautiful business infographic design that we will learn today. So let's jump into the tutorial. So the first is select a dark background, just fill up dark gray or black color. Then the next step is to insert a new circle and place it at the center. And then we will fill a gradient color in it. Select the gradient type as radial. And now we have to fill gradient color in it and you have to watch closely here so you can select a variation of dark gray then black then again dark gray, gray color then again black color the gradient stops and then you can move the gradient stops on the slider to make sure it looks good on the screen and in the middle i want to make it darker so i have selected the black color and you can try and test by moving the sliders to the left or right so it's all about how you distribute the colors on this circle in the form of a radial shape and you can see it look it looks like some planet in the dark that's the beauty of gradient colors now remove its outline we don't need it and this looks really beautiful now duplicate it again duplicate it and we will subtract both these shapes go to shape format merge shapes and subtract and you will get a shape like this and remove all the gradient stops and we only need two gradient stops with white color fill white color on both the gradient stops and on one of the gradient stop increase the transparency to 100 percent and on the first gradient stop make it zero and change the gradient type to linear then you can try different directions actually we want to add a light reflection effect on this circle on the first gradient stop we have kept the transparency at 85 percent now we have changed it to 95 percent now group all these items we mean two items and then apply the shadow effect to see how does it look and we need to change the shadow color increase the transparency and blurness so this looks nice to me and and you can Try different shadow colors here and in fact you can also add the glow effect if you want so I'm going to put the glow effect here make sure to increase the transparency because it should be very minimal and subtle now duplicate this circle and reduce the size also remove the shadow effect because we don't need it because also because we have applied the glow effect so it will be enough now insert this rounded rectangle and and send to back we want this circle at the front now these rounded rectangles will be our placeholders so i have also placed the final output at the bottom left here so that you can take a reference like what are we doing here now distribute these vertically now what we have to do is we have to create some 
connectors here as you can see on the final output at the bottom and for that you have to edit these points to create a curve like this we want to connect these rounded rectangles and when you will move these white squares it will create a curve and send to back and align it on the right side a bit make sure the curve is in the middle of these two rounded rectangles now duplicate one more time flip it vertically and then one place at the bottom align left and then you can select all these five shapes merge union and this is the end result now we will fill gradient color here now we need three steps grid three stops gradient here because we have got these three rounded rectangles and we will fill beautiful and vibrant colors here so where should we start here I'm just thinking let's try this one on the middle gradient stop this one is fine and on the last gradient stop let's pick the blue here send to back and now we have to duplicate these circles and place it on the edges of these rounded rectangles make sure these are well aligned always use the align option select all press ctrl plus g to group then duplicate and we will place the second shape on the right side flip it horizontally distribute align middle and then distribute horizontally now we have to change the color on the right side initially we followed this purple and blue side of the color scheme and for the right side we will follow the yellow and red and orange and green side of the color scheme and this is how it will look and now you can add the text here which is pretty easy insert the text box change the font color font size and the font itself change the uh, title to to uppercase duplicate and here we will add the subheading or the description you can say change to sentence case and you can add the subheading or description here this is a dummy text And like share and subscribe it is a very important message and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do that and now duplicate it like five times and place it on all the rounded rectangles and in the end you will have this infographic design and let's add some icons here and we will use the inbuilt feature of office 365 to add the icons let's select six random item or seven we need one in the middle as well we always prefer thin line icons in powerpoint thin line icons look better also it depends upon the design you are following change the icon color to white and reduce their height and width and then distribute it over the circles make sure these are at the center 
you can align it later you can keep it at the center and now select circle and the icon align center align middle and you have to repeat the steps for each of the icon so the steps are repetitive here in the meantime you can like this video also we have placed the download link in the video description and you can download it practice it and create your own version with your own brand theme and color scheme let's increase its size and place it at the center now go to insert text and we will write the main heading of this infographic and let's write the brand name here creative winners but you can write like process or, or whatever you want as per the content of the slide so this is a six steps infographic similarly you can create eight and ten steps infographic as well and you can share it with me and you can apply different color schemes so here we are adding some beautiful gradient colors on the text So the infographic design is almost complete and we are adding just few elements for the aesthetic purpose because art makes the content looks good and that's what we always try let's pick a nice background here and we will use the default stock images feature of office 65 powerpoint version and here you can just surf search for any image and you will get some high quality stock images for the download let's pick this one and we will send it to back duplicate the layer and fill gradient color and let's change the gradient color here let's add the solid fill black color remove outline align center align middle and then increase the transparency just about 15 to 20 percent also remove the outline of the layer on which we have added the image make sure it is align center and align middle send to back and this looks really beautiful you can adjust the transparency level as per the requirement now insert this circular shape and align it with the center circle remove its outline and fill white color increase the transparency to like 85 86 percent and then we need to send it to back so let's first lock the last two layers which are image layer and the dark overlay and we will place this circle over the background so that's why we are using the selection pane now duplicate it one more time and align it to the center And again we have to send to back and move it to the bottom of the layer but above the background layers and we need to slightly increase its height and width but first let's group the text icon and the center circle so that these are easy to move
you can you should always use the selection pane to select the shapes now group all the shapes on the left align middle align center slightly increase the height and width of the last circle and adjust the transparency and now you can see it looks really beautiful so these are the adjustments you should always try and experiment and the more you will try the better it will look and look at this this is the final output and looks really beautiful and it's a winning slide so please subscribe to our channel join the membership download it from the g drive link and do not forget to share the video and we will see you guys in our next video and the next video is about a beautiful excel dynamic chart and a small dashboard see ya